everyone, this is Gladys Banny on State on 2001, and it's time for our DVD and Blu-ray update for November 20, Dark 2020. And tonight, I went to Target, and I got seven DVDs and three Blu-rays. And all the DVDs and the Blu-rays... And all the DVDs and the Blu-rays, that's what I should say, were part of Black Friday sale. And I was originally going to go to it on Friday, but... I decided to go anyway because it was early. Because it is coronavirus crap, so not gonna bother mentioning it again. But anyways, let's begin. And we're gonna start with the DVDs, then onto the blue eyes, so let's begin. And this is the movie starring the way Chowd Bozeman, who passed away. I'll set the first Home Alone on DVD. Now I finally got Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. I'm not going to get the third or fourth or fifth one because we, we all know those films were bad. So I'm not going to bother getting them. So I'm just going to stick to the first two, the first two Home Alone movies. And the digital code, which already expired. And this is the only Hotel Transylvania installment that I have, but I might get the others at some point. And there's also going to be a fourth one, which I might, the fourth one, which I might go see. And this one, I remember hating a lot. I remember hating this movie a lot. But, I actually watched this film back on September 18th. I mean, September 19th. Along with Jojo Rabbit. And this, is, and this was actually a pretty good movie. I know some people didn't like it. Some people did, or some people didn't. I thought it was still good from what it is. And there's going to be a fourth Hotel Transylvania, which I might go see. I don't know if I've only, I don't know if I've seen the first one or not. It was probably years ago, I guess. I don't know. Now I'm going to blip this book quickly. I have seen Only the Brave. That's a good movie. And I, and I have Concussion on DVD. Now I'm going to try to get these four films soon. And if you, if you remember back in 2018 and 19. Like I said. I used to hate this, hate this movie with a burning passion. And I used to have my epic rant on this movie. And I hate to say this, but if I start hating this movie again, I am going to um, probably donate it or something. But you never know. Find out what my opinion changes to see for yourself. And I'm done taking this movie way too seriously. I am done taking this movie way too seriously. I'm just going to like it forever and not just hate it again just like I did last time. Also at the first Jurassic World on DVD. Now I finally got Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And I hope to get the first three soon on VHS. So, or get them in a trophy feature set. And I'm trying to keep my hopes up to get the blue eye of Jurassic Park. And last year when I went to the Black Friday sale, I actually saw a DVD copy of this movie because 
one the disc keeps spawning, so I had to pass on that last year. But now I finally did. And if I want to upgrade this to Blue Way, same with Jurassic World, I might I might do it then. This is meant to be a Thanksgiving diff a Thanksgiving movie, which I'll definitely watch. Because it's a Thanksgiving movie. The DVD itself is from 2000. The DVD is a refund from 2018. But the DVD itself is actually from 2009. And I know Brendan's Movie Corner has this on VHS and on Blue Eye. Now here's the last DVD, which this is the one that come, which this one comes in the slug cover. And I know that there was supposed to be a sequel called The Hitman's Life Bodyguard, which was, which was supposed to come out this year. But it got cancelled due to you know what. Can you believe all the 2020 movies got delayed? Like this, the sequel, and The Quiet Place Part 2 along with The Conjuring Devil Made Me Do It. The Devil Made Me Do It. And all these major blockbusters that we were supposed to get this year. Because of that stupid coronavirus. So I will definitely watch this sparse before this before the sequel. Which I'll have high anticipation on that. So that's it for the DVDs. Now to the three blue eyes. Also have this film on DVD, and in case you're wondering why I got a blue eye copy of this movie, it's because I'll tell you. And the code expires on February 3rd, 2016. Go ahead if you go ahead if you want it. I'll put it in. I don't care. And the reason why I got a Blu-ray copy of this movie is because I just wanted to upgrade this film to Blu-ray because I think it would be a lot better to have the Blu-ray version. And as for the DVD copy, I'm probably just going to give it to my parents. But I have seen this film before and of course it's really great. So I'll definitely look forward to watching this again on my Blu-ray copy, which I'll watch it on the Blu-ray version. Of course. Some of the DVDs were trying to fall. And now for the two blue eyes, which both of these come in slip covers. I've seen half of this movie back in 2018, and so far it looked like a really awesome movie to me, so... One of these days, I'm going to have to get this movie a whole watch. Now, I was going to get this on DVD, but I ended up getting the Blu-ray. Because the DVD and Blu-ray were both five, were both $5. And now for the 
but the novel back at the answer is blank so I'm not gonna bother showing it And now for the last blue eye, which of course you know what this is. Yup, finally got the blue eye of Spider-Man Far From Home, which I watched this film back on June 27th, along with Instant, Isn't It Romantic and Long Shot, which I also have on blue eye. And this was a freaking fantastic movie. And this is actually my dark favorite movie of 2019, right behind Brightburn. Which, of course, this is a very awesome movie right there. Highly recommend it. Now, I liked it a little bit more than Spider-Man Homecoming. Although, that was a really great movie, too. And out of, and out of all the DC... And out, and out of the Marvel... And out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, this one's my favorite... And an effort of Spider-Man game. Now I was originally going to get this on DVD. But I ended up getting it on Blu-ray. And there you have it guys. That's it for my DVD and Blu-ray update. For November 23rd, 2020. Thank you for watching. This is Glenn Spendy on Steel 2001. See you later.